Hey guys, this is Matt with 4HydroPonics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the more popular PK boosters. I'm talking about how they work and uh, what to do and what not to do with them. First up we'll look at is going to be the uh, BC Blooms from Fox Farm. Um, then we have the Atami by Bloombastic. Um, then we got Liquid Cool Bloom and Powder Cool Bloom by General Hydroponics. Um, the uh, Bio Bud also by General Hydroponics. Um, Big Bud from Advanced and Herculean Harvest from Nectar for the Gods. Um, these are all considered a P or a K or PK boosters. Um, they're all designed to be added on top of a nutrient baseline. Um, most nutrient baselines are going to give you a pretty steady even keel of nutrients, um, almost equal parts to some capacity. Um, but what you're looking for is a spike in certain parts in that middle flower. Um, so this is going to give you the spike in phosphorus potassium that you've been looking for. Um, keep in mind that plants don't necessarily want phosphorus and potassium at the exact same time. Um, they do rather have phosphorus in the middle, uh, early to middle weeks, and then potassium towards the end. Um, the phosphorus is going to just increase overall vigor of growth, yield, um, size, um, those kind of things. And then potassium is going to help with our maturation, uh, basically our ripening, and also going to help with density at the end. Um, too much potassium early in flower can definitely lead to issues, um, one of which we see a lot is going to be CalMag, um, the CalMag lockout. Um, excess potassium, like I said earlier, they don't really want it in early flower, so if you get too greedy and too early with it, you might start locking out your calcium. Um, and a lot of people will think that they're having a deficiency when they're actually just having a, a lockout from too much potassium. So if you've seen uh, calcium magnesium lockouts before in mid flower and you have been using these already, keep that in mind that you might be getting a little too aggressive on it a little too early. Um, some of the you know uses for these things, you'll see gardeners that have uh, very simplistic soil setups where they just use the soil as the main fertilization. It's kind of hard to get a spike in phosphorus potassium if soil is your main fertilization. So using a liquid PK booster is a great way to kind of get it right to the plant when you need it. Um, also in high performance gardens, guys that are running really high CO2 levels, um, high uh, supercharged hydroponic systems, they might be in uh, demand for a uh, more spike in uh, PK than somebody who's running maybe a little bit you know, smaller, slower garden. Um, some of the cons of running these that you have to keep in mind is that if you use them too strong or too late, um, you can add uh, some issues to your garden like um, crowning or fox tailing, which nobody really loves. Um, uh, if you over fertilize, that can also be linked a lot of times to hermaphroditic seeding uh, and also uh, it can affect your flavor, your aroma. Um, smell and just overall quality. Um, it can also uh, affect after you harvest as well, um, drying and curing those things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, I'd recommend trying these products, um, but when you do try them, start light on them, especially if you're already using a synthetic nutrient base or a whole line. Um, they do have a high phosphorus potassium usually worked into their feeding schedule already. Um, so if you are running a full line, keep that in mind. Uh, but if you want to add these, they are interchangeable. You can use them pretty much on top of any line within reason. Um, and in doing that and saying that, make sure you start very light and then work your way uh, a little bit stronger as you go. So I uh, hope this video helped you out, cleared some things up about PK boosters, how to use them, when to use them. Um, they're not you know, a full nutrient. They're just extra phosphorus, potassium, or one of the two. Uh, all this stuff's available on our website, 4hydroponics.com. Um, thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you next time.